Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to Stretch the Sketch the monthly hop that was the brainchild of Janet Fritz I believe at Galaxy Girl Creates or Galaxy Girl Creation, sorry and each month a group of people or some scrappers get together and we start with a sketch that has been chosen and we stretch it, shrink it, change it, mix it and do whatever we like now sometimes you may have people going from a 12x12 sketch to a traveller's notebook right up to a double page spread, triple page spread, mini book, whatever it may be, it varies. I do have a plan to do a triple page layout, so a 12 by 36, that may be next month, let's wait and see. But for today, I am stretching the 12 by 12 sketch into a 12 by 24 sketch. This is the sketch which I believe let me just establish, otherwise I can't tell you. <laughs> um, the sketch, I believe, is from Bella Boulevard. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Yes, yeah, so it's from Bella Boulevard for November 2021, and it's this lovely, colourful sketch. Now, it looks like we have a matted 12 by 12 and then we have this square in the middle and four sort of tab-divided... Um, strips of paper and sort of a dotted line around it, two photos here, title and then two distinct embellishment areas. Now I'm starting with the principle of that kind of layout but I am going to go rogue. This is Vicky Boot and Sweet Rush. Now I'm getting a bit concerned because I've used quite a lot of paper from this pad already and I have had it less than a week. I have tons of scraps, I have so many cut-offs that I've Cut. These are all the cutter parts that have been cut into pieces and I think, full disclosure here guys, full disclosure for you, look at that, Like I've used a big chunk, I think I'm going to have to order another 12x12 12 12 pad and another 6x8 because I have used quite a bit in a week. Um, I love this pad, it's double sided, 48 sheets, two of each, double sided. 24 sheets, two of each, and I just love them. So I do think I am going to get another two sheet, two packs. Uh, yeah, two packs, one of them and one of them. That's my plan. Because I'm really loving the collection. So I've been through and I have done some prep because I was faffing around for so long and I thought I just cannot let you all see that and waste two hours of your life, although it was only a few minutes. So I'm doing these two photos and these are 3 by 2.5 which is very small for me and now on a double page layout I'm only using these two photos which is very 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 rare for me. If I do a double page layout I want to use loads of photos but I'm going to stick with it. I think I like it. I've got loads of cut parts here and I plan on doing something with that including some hidden journaling because you may well have noticed that Tom has his arm in a cast because he broke it. Then I have my paper I am using, let me get it for you, do, 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 do. as I said all this paper apart from the white and black of course comes from Vicky Bootin Sweet Rush Pad. And it's this paper, which is an awesome, awesome waviness. Can't wait to use that. I feel like cutting these out, distressing them, putting them back together. But we're going to use this one, which is this distinct half and half. Well, quarter and three quarters. And we're going to use two sheets of that with loads of black and white. But I am going to mat this on a black piece. But I'm only matting it on three sides because it's a two-page layout. Then I've been through and chosen some of these papers for the strips. Now initially I did start with one like that, which I love, but I figured it needs to be a block colour because that on there sort of fades in with the background. Even though I am matting them as well, and I also have used my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. So it creates tabs like this to punch out four blue and four sun paper tabs see i've used two sheets of this less than a week what's going on with me what is going on definitely think leaving your new stuff out for a little bit helps you to dive in because usually i get it i look through it i film it and i put it away but nope and i actually think it's helped which is brilliant so let's get started really 
think to start, let's put these to one side. Oh, sorry. I also have this rainbow washi tape from Echo Park. Don't know if I'm going to use it yet, but it is there. And I have got a ton of Bramble Fox mini perspectives, some titles, and also the April Fox box ready for me there as well. First things first, I'm going to map these. So in terms of sizes, this is 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. And all I'm doing is making sure that I mat it right up to the edge on this side. So when we put the layouts together, it's like we have matted the 12 by 24, not individually. Push that up to there. There we go. So there is number one. It's a bit, there's more of a mat at the top than at the, uh, more at the bottom than at the top, but I'm not going to split hairs. And then on this one, I'm going to do it on this side. Look at the detail in this paper, guys. Like, look at all that detail. It's quite amazing. And I can't wait for the Sweet Rush class. That'll be in July, I think Vicky said. Is anybody here doing crop and create at all? I am doing it for the first time this year. And I am definitely team peak and oh my God, that's all I'm gonna say. So now we have done that, as you can see, when I put them together and level them, that's what we are left with. Now, of course, you can tell it's not one sheet of paper because it's not a continuous pattern, but it is impossible to get that. However, what we may do is, I don't know if this washi will do, but what you could do if you don't like that is you could washi down the middle, which I'm not obviously going to do because this washi doesn't go. And I don't yet have the washi from this collection because I wasn't going to get it. But now I feel like I should. <laughs> but I do have this washi from Let's Wonder. It's kind of dried out a lot, which is a shame. I've had to pull it more because of that. So we could use that, but I don't think that goes actually. Um, I feel like we should now use a washi. What do we think? in the room okay we do have this washi this is from Fernwood so we could have that going there what about that there yeah I'm gonna go with that this will also keep it together as a complete piece until I decide it's time to snip, snip, snip. There we go. So obviously we'll then cut down that line and it will make it back into two 12 by 12s. So, quite like the little hint of metallic it gives us there. That is our complete piece now. So, let me move this out of the way. Do, 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 do. And we are going to bring in these. So I'm going to mat this first. Now, in terms of measurements, these are both eight and a half. One is by ten, one is by nine, I believe. Yes. And again, we are going to do the same with the matting. So we're going to 
Go right to the edge on one side and leave the gap on another. Okay. Now, I did have an issue with these, I don't know why. But, oh, I was about to say, I don't know if it'll work, but yes it does. There are a couple of crinkles in that, but it's not going to matter. So I'm not going to stress. And we're going to pop that one there. So that's going to go on the right side. So then this one is going to go on the left. So if I do it here... Right, so that is going to have more at the top. And that is now... Oh, I've done it the wrong way, guys. Seriously, Adam. sometimes think there's no hope for me. Okay, it's going to look a bit scruffy, but let's roll with it. Okay, so then that is going to go like so. Now, it's not perfect, but it's okay. So, okay. so then what we are going to do... <clears throat> is we're going to pop them on there with a white border I just felt like I needed something to bring these from the background if that makes sense it was sort of all rolling into one that's going to go on there. Now, I know we laugh and joke about the fact I can't cut straight, but I genuinely think the Fiskars trimmer I've got is not straight. Um, I, was, I was testing it before cutting these, and I was having a bit of issue with it. Now, I know I can't cut straight, but surely a trimmer should cut straight, right? So that's going to go like so. Then we're going to have this one, and I'm going to come from this side. Oh, I love that. Mm. No, I'm going to stick with the block pattern. Now, of course, the thing that could go wrong here is... I need the white board there, don't I? Okay, so that's going to go there. The thing that could go wrong is I have not measured these properly, and that's a distinct possibility. Okay, we're just going to have a bigger border at the top. That's okay, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this one up. In fact, let's fold. Nope, that needs to come a bit more. And that's going to go to there. It's not perfect, guys, but I'm not after perfect. Okay, and then... Ooh, they line up, kind of. Not... Because I haven't cut them all at the same time, it, I'm never going to get them all straight to line up. And that's totally okay. I'm sure by the end of it, you're not going to notice by the time I stuck all the stuff on. Okay, then that one's going to go there. So as you can see, I'm just building up the layers and making it 
with these strips and that's that's it it's not hard really nothing rocket science i love this sketch from bella boulevard don't know who made it but it's for bella boulevard so that is who our credit goes to and it's so nice to do stretch the sketch i love going rogue on a sketch because i think it's important that we all remember that a sketch is there as a starting off point it's not there to follow to the letter okay now i'm going to cut this one there This one isn't quite coming down to the bottom, but that is a-okay. And I'm just going to go with this side because I can't get it straight. And I'm sure you can see that it's not all lining up fully, but I'm enjoying it. That's all that matters. I am no pro scrapper for sure. There's that one. This one's a bit bumpy bumpy. But I can either put some extra glue down there or do something. It's probably because I've stretched it a bit. start on this side we're gonna go to there feel so good so what I'll actually do while we're here let's shove a bit of Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive just up there like so and just up here like so that's all it needs just a little bit of adhesive help I love the colors and patterns so we've got these sort of circles on circles with dots this herringbone style pattern the XO's and the dark blue dot and I just think it works together perfectly For a colour and pattern lover like me, it is perfect. Now we've got the final piece going on. And that is what we are left with guys what do we think I love it it's not perfect am I gonna go and cry no I think it's okay okay I am just gonna cut a little bit of this black off later this at the top I am okay with Because I will find a washi tape. Let's see. Um, don't know if this one is too big. Yes. Oh, although I could overlap it. So we could go to there. Let's do that because I love this washi tape. 
this, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong by all means, is Storyteller. And it's one of my favourite ever washies. It's the navy blue with the gold stars. It is stunning. Okay. So that is going to go there. Let me cut this again, because guess what, guys? I didn't cut it straight. Let's pop that about there. Then I'm going to come over here, trying to keep it as straight as we can. Going over there. It's obviously going to be quite a long video for this stretch of the sketch because rather than go ahead and do all of this on my own, which I nearly did because I thought it would be boring. But I figure, if you don't want to watch it, guys, I won't be offended if you fast forward. So I love that. I love that the blue finishes it off there at the top. I think that really sets it off. Okay. I wish it wasn't bumpy, but it is. So. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have our tabs. I'm going to have two on each rig. Okay, so we're going to have one up here, like so, although I wasn't expecting to have dark blue up there, it's fine, and I'm not going to tape them on, I am going to, hmm, I was going to say I'm going to staple them on, but actually, let's tape them on because I won't be able to staple the middle because I don't know where anywhere stapler is. And we are going one key, obviously. So I'm not taking much notice where I'm going. We're going to have blue suns. Blue suns. Uh, yeah. Um, because obviously this is the blue that's on the bottom row and I didn't want that be the tab because I think it looks a bit daft okay so then that's going there that's going there I love the concept of this mine obviously looks different but I think I like it and if you don't that's a-okay what do we think I'll probably go around with some glue just to finish them off. Okay, and now we are going to cut this in half. No, we're not actually, because our layout is full, isn't it? But I will just trim that piece if I can. I'll have to do that when we cut it. Okay. So here is our 12 by 24. I'm going to do my best to keep it all in view and then we've got that is going to go roughly there what do we think I am quite pleased with that okay I'm gonna to have to okay I am actually going to cut this in half because I really need to trim that bottom but that's okay Okay, so that's there, and now, so I think that's enough. And let's trim a bit off here. That's a little bit too thick of a border. There we go. So let's get these on our page now. Now I am using quite a bit. Uh, 
because we have quite a lot of weight on here. Okay, so this is going to go to the middle. So let me weigh, weigh, measure that up. Okay, so here is the middle, and we're going to pop it. About there. There we go. Okay. There is the hard bit for Adam done, having to think about what I'm doing. So that goes there, and I am going to leave slight gap, guys, just to make sure that I can trim it with ease. And now our photos are going to go over here, as per the sketch. So let's pop that. Oh, have I got tape on my finger? Pop that there. So these pictures were taken in Hamburg on our European road trip, where we drove from home in Manchester all the way around Europe and back. And there's a photo of me with Mick and me with Tom. So our photos are going to go there somewhere roughly, like so. I kind of want that glue to dry because it's doing my head in, but there we go. Then we have dimensional hearts, sticker book, ephemera, summer loving, page and Vicky stickers. do have other stuff if needed so they are the embellishments to call upon I'd like to use some of the ephemera today but we will see now in terms of cards that I've cut out I've cut this one out so it says loving life with the floral and the date because I thought this one might work over here as somewhat of a hidden journaling piece okay but I might need to move this tab for that to happen. Let's see. I'm going to move that to here. So then these would just go sort of there and we'll make a fuss of that bit. And then I do have this camera that I fussy cut from one of the cards. And I did think we might use one of them. So this page is kind of about the embellishment as well as the memory okay and then that would go on there or that would go on there or we could sort of do it like that do 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 so that could go like so. I guess we could cover the ampersand now. Could put a little camera there. Bit little, big camera there. So that's what I was thinking because I do have quite a lot to say. Given Tom has broken his arm, arm, arm. So we do have this happy days piece from the fox box which I thought would work quite nicely if we can get it on which makes me think that if I use something like this I could get it on quite easily but then we do also have some other pieces such as this let's get lost 
gonna be honest, the tabs are doing me head in a little bit. But it's not a problem. We'll make it work. If I take them off, I take them off. Okay, so this photo is gonna go sort of uppy down and it's gonna go there. I guess this happy days and then say cheese. So that could work there actually. Then we do have some of these frames. These are doodled frames. Ooh. Now that fits perfectly in there. Then that go on there? No. But what we could do is have the tag or we could get a colour block one. Pop that there. I'm struggling now guys. Okay let's get these on. So they're going to go there without a doubt. I think what my issue is, is these tabs if I'm honest. So I am going to go rogue and ignore the tabs on the sketch. Which is disappointed because I do like them. But they're just not working for this layout so let's get rid. They're not an integral part or anything. There we go, that's much better. Once I've stuck this bit down properly. There we go. Right. Okay, I'm going to dive into these. So we could have smile down here. Although there's not much to smile about with a broken arm, but it was still a good day to be fair. He was a trooper. Okay, that's that. Um, Now on the Vicky B sticker book and the Simple Story sticker book, there are some title pieces, so, uh, no, but we have got these ones, hello, so I wonder if that hello could be brought in some way, somehow. I quite like that say cheese there, so should we commit to that? I am always happy to use multiple perspectives and multiple titles. Because for me, not every page has to have a title. Okay, so that is going to go there or there. There. The reason why I think there is because it's on a bit of a wonk with this. So if it went there, it's actually straightened itself. Struggling to sit still, and my back is quite hurty today. Which is not good when you're packing orders and crouching over. But I'm a brave boy. Okay. Not gonna lie, I've doubted this layout for a little bit, but maybe we can make it work my fault I should have used more photos but it's not the end of the world then over here on the right I've already done the tape so let's get this tape off I've put it on the two sides and the bottom only I'm not putting any tape on the top that will then ensure that I can easily get the journaling in and out because I don't want to lo write loads of journaling on all this gorgeous paper I want to be able to see the paper but equally I do want to journal about this as well so I quite like the idea <gasps> oh no 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 oh, quite like the idea of this coming off 
that page. So let's pop that there. Not off the page, but do you know this, this bit? Then that is just going to slide in quite easily, like so. I'm not going to do the journaling now, because that's two pages of journaling and I'll be here a while. But I do want to put this at the top. Now, I know I'll be journaling about Tom's broken arm, but that's okay, because there was still a lot of cool stuff. Okay, I'm just going to stick that temporarily. So there is that. Now we need to decide, do I put something here? Do we put a perspective? No, don't get me wrong, I do have a lot of perspectives. But finding that right one, I quite like that there actually. This yellow is gorgeous. It says hot, hot, hot. We've got some globes. We've got all sorts. We do have this sunshine tag. So I guess what we could do, let me cut this out. We do have an orange one as well, so I will cut both out. These are the tags off the back of one of the, well, the 3x4 cut apart sheet. And the B side is these lovely tone on tone tags with various prompts to get you journaling. This one I particularly love because of the layout it's got today, place, date, and then just loads of space for you to journal okay so that could go there then do, 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 where is it gone there it is so like you can see the reverse is the journaling spot but the back is the tag I do hope everybody has had and is having a lovely Easter weekend. Whatever it is you are doing to celebrate. Okay, so what I was thinking is we could double them up. Just to give a bit of interest. And then on here, we do have these. I'm just going to see which other one. So these are all my Vicky B puffy phrases because I adore them. Oh, apart from Chanel. So we've got Color Kaleidoscope, which I love. Okay, so we've got this good stuff. Okay. So we could have that there. Okay, let's do that. that I let's stick these on actually I need to get do, do, do. Um. I'm gonna stick the tags on temporarily because I can't at the moment get to my crocodile so I'm just gonna do this to stick them on so a tiny bit there and after the video I will dig into my Kallax and try and get them out okay so that's gonna go on there uh, yeah, there. at that time I'll also put more adhesive on them obviously I'm not gonna do that until I'm sure that they're staying. So we've got stuff and then we've got good. It's quite tough to get some of them off. 
and let's put good there and then there and I might even use the arrow as well there. and then let's pop that arrow there love the way that looks so as I said this is a, an embellishment heavy kind of layout but I love those kind of layouts so that is a-okay that's going to go there. Get rid of these pieces. I do have a rather large stash of Bramble Fox coming. So if that's something you would like to see in a little video, please do let me know in the description box down below. And I can certainly film that. It's all of the Sea Life collection and lots of other lovely goodies. No, oh, that's fine. Thought I'd put the adhesive on the wrong side then. Have you ever done that? So annoying. But it's easily done. Okay, so this happy days is going to go down here. Just about there. So then the Page Evans banner just sort of sticks there in the middle of this little notch of the D. I do have these sort of sunglasses with a sun and shine, so sun, shine, but I don't know if we're going to use them. Obviously I can't put it over there because I can't snap them in half. Not bad. And then let's see what we've got in the ephemera pack. First time opening this exciting this peacock is stunning we've got a peacock feather though I'm not sure why you would use that on a layout but hey ho this little floral piece I quite like and we've got this Hello sunshine. Okay. Although that means I've then got four titles, which I think is a little bit too much. We do have a smaller version of the camera that I cut out, so that might be quite nice to get on. Maybe that could go like so. And we do have some of these gorgeous clouds. Do, 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 do. Get out and try new things in a rainbow. That's quite cute. Quite like that there. Now, I haven't used any flare as yet. I may pull some out. But equally, I don't use flare on every layout. I know some people think that's me traitoring dotty about flare, but I only use it if I feel it's necessary. Okay, so if I pull that up a bit, I'm going to put the palm tree there, something a bit different. <coughs> Tell me, do you guys get the same? Like, I'm using some of these ephemera pieces now, but I'm thinking to myself, I can't use that and that again, and I love it. So, I might need to buy another pack of ephemera. And that's how I get into the trap of buying so much. Do you do that, or am I being a bit mad? Because I'm not the only person to do that, surely. That's getting to be a bit tough to get in, but that's okay there. So it's just a case I'm, I'm, I'm letting the ephemera do a lot of it for me because I adore it.
Now we were travelling around by, well, we weren't actually in Hamburg at this point. Because it was Hamburg that Tom had broke his arm. Up to that point, we were travelling around on scooters. Obviously that's not a scooter, it's a bicycle. But I could have still used it as a scooter. Do have this pink scooter from Bramble Fox. I'm going to use it. I've hoarded it and hoarded it. I'm going to get it used. I can't say I am the biggest fan of the pink. If we're honest. But it doesn't mean I won't use it. I think Morag needs to do a new scooter in a teal. What do we think? Do, 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 do. And then we've got some of these suns. Just going to peel. This is like a translucent, 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 translucent. Oh, you know what I mean. What is going on with me? And they have got a little smiley face on them. Very cute. So obviously they are see-through. So I don't know if we're going to use one or not. You can't actually see that, sorry. No, I don't think it works on this layout, unfortunately. But I do have one of these circles. And that could work. Maybe not. <clears throat> I'll use this. I'm going to stick these down. I quite like them. Though. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love the... Um, florals in this collection so I need a full pack of florals it would be amazing if Vicky did that ok let's stick that there so that's going to go there and is it a bit random to have a lemon you know what, I am actually going to use it because then I can use the lime and add in a flare. Okay, so that's going to go there, and that's going to go there. Then let's use this. This is a mini globe with a heart from Bramble. Rumble Fox. Okay. And I'm going to use it that way so I need glue on that side. Now I know a lot of people will say, well, this is a complete waste of paper and stickers. And you're quite right, it is. But I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I have plenty of stock, shall we say. So why not? I enjoy it. Oh, I should have used that one. Um, but yes, I agree, it probably is. But, as I say, I'm enjoying it. That's all that matters. I could quite easily have got a ton more photos on this. But I just decided to stick to the sketch on that aspect. Okay, I'm going to put this little bunting up there. We do have these clouds which are adorable. I need to cut some of these out from the paper as well. But in the meantime, let's Add one up here. Just going to sort of tuck that in up there. Okay. 
There's no stickers really. I've got this arrow. See, it's too. Mm, no. no, no, no. A fern. It's like being back in fernwood. A pineapple on a paper clip. What do we think? Too crazy? Oh, that's hilarious. You know what, guys? Do you know what? I want a bit of fun. So we're going to have a pineapple on it. And then we have some more florals. I had hoped to find a floral for over here. Yes, that's the one. So that's going to go there, and I love it. 51 minutes to do a stretch the sketch layout. What am I like? If you have watched this far without fast forwarding, then you deserve what I call a medal. Okay. Let's have a very quick look at this small ephemera. Remember, we have 50 pieces split into two parts of the pack. Then we've got stickers, and then I'm going to leave you all in peace, I think. I'm going to cut this one in half. We do like to extend our stash. And we're going to have a floral at the side here. Just gonna, oops, try and get that bit up. There we go. So we've got that there. We've got a Coke bottle, drinks, butterflies, ice cream, a vase of flowers, lollipop, living my dream life, more clouds. Don't think we need them. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Hmm. Should I use it? No. I'm not going to waste it. Not when I don't need it. Although that is gorgeous. Honestly, we need a floral pack from you, Vicky. Please. We do. And I know it would sell amazingly well. So that's it for the ephemera pack. I'm also going to put these stickers away because although, hmm, let me just get this heart one out. I really love these clustered hearts. So I'm gonna put them there. They are from Colour Study. which remains one of my favourite collections. Sweet Rush is overtaking it slightly, not fully yet. Obviously we have other favourites, but out of the Vickies, it is definitely Colour Rush. Colour Rush? <laughs> Colour Study and Sweet Rush, for me anyway. It's always good to add in thicky arrow. We do have the sticker book still, but I don't think we need anything from there. What about actually these mini phrases? A moment in time, let's have that there. Was amazing, let's have that there. And then let's have a memories on the date bit here, because I'll write the date here. And then we've got this piece which says, do all things with love. Never a truer word was said. Do, 
Okay, so there is that. I'm not even going to look at some loving sticker book, but I will have an extremely quick look at the sticker sheet and the palm tree perspectives. There's now like a bit of lime green on a Vicky Booting page. that a bit daft there? No. No, don't worry, we won't hit an hour. <laughs> I hope not anyway. But you know guys, I needed this hour and I'm so happy to have spent it with all of you. So if you have spent it with me as well, thank you very much. If you have fast forwarded to this point, welcome back. I don't blame you. But thank you for watching, however much of this video you watched. I really do appreciate you all so very much. Okay, so that's going to go there. Then, I've got this little noted bit. That's going to go sort of there. Got some gorgeous gorgeous things on here quite like this happy but I don't think we need it okay so I think that's going to do it now I haven't used flare I know it's a shocking situation but I am going to be working on a sweet mix of flare to coordinate with this collection it's going to be a mix of just plain old flair and other things maybe, I don't know yet, we've not started work on it. But that is coming soon, so if that is of interest to you, keep an eye out. I will be back tomorrow for some scrapping backwards fun with my lovely friend Kathy. I hope you have a lovely Easter. Stay safe. Enjoy. And I will see you tomorrow. I'm just adding the final dimensional heart to this layout. And then I'm going to consider it done. Thank you all so very much. Please remember to check the description box down below for Janet's list and everybody else playing along. I'm sure they have done some amazing things. And you won't have to sit there for an hour to find out what they've been doing. Because they will be much quicker than me. <laughs> I... As I said, I will be back tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.